Take us to a new story here uh, about how you can find just about anything in a thrift store from books to clothes, one of a kind furniture. Uh, well, a Texas woman was shocked to learn that a statue she bought in 2018 has a 2000 year old story behind it. Omar Villafranca decided to wrap his head around this marble mystery. Shopping at this Goodwill boutique in Austin, Texas is like sifting for gold. It's like luck, I feel like. You have to look. Between the gently used dresses and the kitchenware. I am looking for whatever catches my eye and whatever works on any given day. There are deeply discounted secondhand treasures to be found. I found like, you know, older like the lithographs and silver dishes. When antiques dealer Laura Young goes thrifting, she keeps her head on a swivel. I'm looking for anything, first of all, that I love and anything that I think you will love for your home. Lori Young was roaming around these aisles looking for household treasures when she saw something sitting on a lower shelf that caught her eye. You had a hunch that it was something. Oh, yes, yes. Young yes. was mesmerized. The details in the hair, the brooding look on the man's face. There's a lifelikeness to the face. But was this a masterwork of art? or some relic of a college toga party. Young had to find out. You try to pick it up, it weighs a lot. Definitely solid marble. The price is right, $34.99. When you flip over and you see that it's $34.99. Yeah, no questions. Immediately find a guy to pick it up. Sold. Yes. So I paid for it as quickly as humanly possible and had the same guy carry it out to the car for me and I strapped him into the front seat of the car with a seat belt. With the bust belted into her car, she went home and started reaching out to experts. She sent pictures to academics and auction houses, trying to find out more about the stranger now sitting in her living room. A Couple of days later, I hear from Sotheby's auction house and one of their specialists had actually identified the head as previously being part of the German owned or Bavarian owned state antiquities collection. It's like a movie or something. The backstory of this head is nuts. Experts say the $35 Roman bus sitting in her home was a priceless piece of stolen art. The statue dates back to the late first century BC to the early first century AD and was part of the collection of King Ludwig I of Bavaria in a Schaffenberg, Germany. This picture was used to identify the bust and shows the museum where the statue once stood. Lindley McAlpine is a Roman art and provenance specialist at the San Antonio Museum of Art. You hear stories sometimes of people finding an old copy of the Constitution behind another piece of art. Mm -hmm. Do they ever find ancient Roman busts at a Goodwill? I've never heard of any antiquities, any ancient Roman, Greek, Egyptian, anything like that coming from a thrift store. Certainly not something as huge and obviously old as this. But how the sculpture ended up in Texas remains a mystery. Experts believe an American soldier might have smuggled the bust back to the States after the King's Villa in Germany was bombed by Allied forces during World War II. It couldn't be sold legitimately because it was known to have been stolen. And there are all sorts of war related laws like the Geneva Convention. Okay. <laughs> so war, war looting is a crime, is a war crime. And when you find something like this, you're not gonna be able to sell it on the legitimate art market. It never occurred to me that he could have arrived here by nefarious means. That being said, this is my first, you know, piece of looted art that I've purchased. <laughs> Young can't talk details or compensation, but she is returning the bus back to the German government, but not before the centuries old sculpture remains on display at the San Antonio Museum of Art for a few more months. I had to drive down and see him in the museum. <sighs> That's my guy. I got choked up just seeing other people see him and read the story. He was hidden in our house for almost four years and just seeing other people appreciate him was amazing. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And for Young, this bust was head and shoulders, the finest piece of art she's ever returned. For CBS Mornings, I'm Omar Villafranca in San Antonio.
First of all, what a masterful piece of art. He looked, the, the head looked particularly sad, it like slumped over in the front seat of her car with the seatbelt on <laughs> right. and the, the Goodwill well, sticker. She knew she had seat. something, just yeah. the fact she that it. she strapped it in. The and detail on the hair is interesting, but don't we want to know how much? You can't discuss details and compensation. I want to know what you got. Do you think for, that means because yeah. it's so much or because it's not a lot? I think that means because it's so much. Because it's so much, yeah. even though it was stolen. Why would you give it back? Why would you reach out to... Well, because you love art and you want it to be back in the country. You know, a lot of people think, you know, this and art it was should stolen. be in the country. Where, yeah, it was stolen. And you want to, yeah, you want to do the right thing. First of all, the... the do you love art that much that you would <laughs> give it back to I'm not her, okay? <laughs> she was on a hunt for things. <laughs> it's not about me. <laughs>